Hello everyone, welcome back to Wire Network. This video article will provide everything you need to know about setting up an OpenVPN server on your MicroTik router. Step 1. Create a CA certificate. In the Winbox or Web interface, go to System, then click to Certificate. Click on the plus button to add a new certificate. Next, set the certificate name. Set the country, state, locality, organization and unit. Next, set the common name. Set the days valid as your requirement. Next, go to key usage, then select CRL sign and key cert sign. Click apply OK. Next, click on CA Certificate, then click on Sign to sign the certificate. Click on CA CRL Host, then enter your MicroTik WAN static IP address. Click on Start button. Step 2. Create a Server Certificate Click on the plus button to add a new server certificate. Next, set the certificate name. Set the country, state, locality, organization and unit. Next, set the common name. Set the days valid as your requirement. Next, go to key usage, then select digital signature, key encipherment and TLS server. Click apply OK. Next, click on server certificate, then click on sign to sign the certificate. Next, click on CA, then click start. Next, go to General tab, then click Trusted. Step 3. Create a Client Certificate Click on the plus button to add a new client certificate. Next, set the certificate name. Set the country, state, locality, organization and unit. Next, set the common name. Set the days valid as your requirement. Next, go to key usage. Select TLS client, then click apply OK. Next, click on client certificate, then click on sign to sign the certificate. Next, click on CA, then click start. Next, go to General tab, then click Trusted. Step 4. Export CA and Client Certificate Go to System, then click to Certificate. Next, click on CA Certificate, then click Export. Select CA Certificate in drop-down menu. Next, enter file name, then click Export. Click on Client Certificate, then click to Export. Next, enter Export Passphrase. Enter file name, then click Export. Go to File, you can see your export certificate here. Step 5. Create an IP address pool. Go to IP and then select Pool. Click on the plus button to add a new IP pool. Next, give your IP pool a meaningful name. 
specify the range of IP addresses you want to include in the pool. Click Apply OK. Step 6. Add a Masquerade Firewall Rule. Go to IP and then click Firewall. In the NAT tab, click on the plus button to add a new NAT rule. Next, select Chain to SRC NAT. In the SRC address, input your VPN IP subnet. Next, go to Action and then select Masquerade. Step 7. Creating Firewall Rule for Allow Open VPN Traffic on Firewall. Go to IP and then click on Firewall. Next, go to Filter Rules. In the Filter Rules, click on the plus button to add a new filter rule. Next, select Chain to Input. Click on Protocol and then select 6 TCP. Next, click DST Port and then enter open VPN port number. Go to action and then select accept. Step 8. Create a open VPN profile and secret. Go to triple P and then click on profile. Click on plus button to add new profile. Next, assign a profile name. In the local address, input your VPN gateway IP address. In the remote address, select VPN pool you created in step 5. Next, go to secret tab. Click on plus button to add a new secret. Next, input open VPN username and password. Select open VPN in service drop down menu. Next, select triple P profile. Step 9 Configure open VPN server. Go to Triple P and then click on OVPN Server. Next, check the box to enable. Select default profile you created in Profile tab. Next, select Server in Certificate drop-down menu and then enable Require Client Certificate. Next, Click Apply OK. Next, click on Export.OVPN. Enter your OpenVPN server public IP address. Select CA Certificate in drop-down menu. Next, select Client Certificate in drop-down menu. Next, Select Client Certificate key in drop-down menu. Click Start to export the OpenVPN config file. Go to File and then download OpenVPN config file on your computer. Step 10. Adding root on OpenVPN config file. In Microtik, you need to specifying root on config file to access the local network. Open.ovpn config file in Notepad. 